Like this video already, my friend. No, no! It's not seven years of bad luck today. It's seven years of luck for anyone who likes it. That's so cute. I love it when it brings a smile to your face. Today was a different day in my gamer life. I, Lucas, the strongest captain, was ready to recruit new members for On Cactus. But when I went to read the server chat, I noticed an eerie silence. There were no messages there. I got to the cafeteria and started to check what was going on. The other players couldn't type anything at all. What's going on here? Wait, no, everything's fine, isn't it, Kate? Kate? Link's there, man. Hey, Link! What's going on here? What's happened to everyone? Yeah, that's when I realized. All the players were disappearing, one by one. Like chess pieces being slowly knocked over. Worried, I decided to investigate. I asked Samuka, who was standing next to me, if he had any clues as to what was going on. Buddy, do you know why people are disappearing from the server? It was full a few minutes ago. I have no idea, Lucas. This reminds me a lot of when Raul disappeared in the Colosseum, remember? Huh? You betrayed me, Raul. How could you break the first rule? And you know what the punishment will be. I'm sorry, Captain. I didn't mean to do it. What did you mean? He just disappeared. What's going on here? Yeah, Samuka, you're right. Since that day, the pirate world hasn't been the same. It's all very strange. I realized that I needed to dig deeper. And I started following the clues left behind. And the first thing I noticed was that all the players who disappeared, they used to be in C1. That's strange. What could be going on in C1? I decided to take a chance and ended up in C1. The starting island where everything happens. But as soon as I arrived, I realized something was wrong. The place was empty and silent, as if all the players had simply evaporated. And of course, I tried to call into the global chat. Hello, is anyone there? Please. All I got was a deafening silence. I realized that the problem was much bigger than I had imagined. And of course, I needed to find out why. So I spent hours, hours in C1. Then out of the blue, my brother shows up. Are you here for the same reason as me, brother? Yeah, only if you're also looking for who's behind it. I have some clues that I think will lead us straight to the person responsible. Tell me, brother, who's behind this? He's a 14-year-old teenager, and I think... But he never finished the sentence, because just like the others, he also disappeared before my very eyes. And that scared the hell out of me. So I decided to find Samuka, my right-hand man. Only he would have any idea what to do. I sailed the seven seas until I reached the central island. Better known as Cafeteria Island. And there he was, sitting with my mother. That doesn't make sense! Samuka, Samuka, it's happened again, man. My brother disappeared right in front of me. Yeah, I know, man. Your mom was telling me. Mom, I'm sorry. I couldn't save my brother. That's very sad, Lucas. But I have information. It seems that everyone who isn't a cyborg is disappearing one by one. But what? How do you know that, Samuka? That's very sad, son. They said it was someone from C2 who caused all this. C2? Who's in C2? Why is there no one on the server apart from us? Mom! Mom! Samuka, what happened to my mom, buddy? Auntie's gone too. God, I'm going to be next, Lucas. This can't happen, Samuka. Stop I don't it, want to disappear, it, Lucas. Stop it, stop it, stop it, don't say that anymore. I haven't even completed my hair transition. Stop it! You'll still have hair, I swear! Motivated by my mother's disappearance, I started running. And run to every corner of every island, looking for any clue. The anguish in my heart only increased. I couldn't fail and lose someone else. Samuka, even from up here, I can't see anything, buddy. Have you discovered anything? I was thinking about it. If it's not people, it can only be one thing. What thing, Samuka? It doesn't say they're aliens. Aliens, man? I can't believe you believe that. I'm talking about something worse, robots. They're taking over the world. And where are the robots here, Samuka? Do you have any idea? Follow me. I'm behind you, buddy. We're here, Lucas. Passing through that door. Here? Samuka, come on, man. We have to save everyone. I'm not going in there, Captain. I'm scared of robots. I think I'll go to the bathroom I need to pee, you know? Bye, Lucas. See you later. That leaves me. And of course I had to go in, even alone, 
That right arm that leaves me in the lurch. The cold silence of this place makes me shiver. And that's not all. In the middle of the room, there's a gigantic computer screen, and around it, several V4 cyborgs guarding the central computer. So you're the ones behind all this? Yeah, it's me. And I won't stop until all the players have been converted to the cyborg race. What's that? Is that the computer talking? Why are you doing this? Everyone deserves to have the race they want. Yeah, it's simple. The cyborg race is the only race capable of evolving, adapting and overcoming any obstacles. But the human race is also very powerful. You don't know what you're talking about. I know everything. Other races are inferior. It's only a matter of time before I hack your account too, Lucas, and make you disappear. Evil laugh. That's not going to happen. I won't allow you to hack the accounts of all the players who have taken centuries to get where they are. Artificial intelligence is silly. You will be defeated. I'll crush you using my giant Buddha. What's going on? What's going on? They're too powerful. I don't expect... Take that. Exposure. No. Yeah. But before I could defeat this fake artificial intelligence, the guard cyborgs revolted and gave me a beating. Samuka, I was beaten by those cyborgs, buddy. Yeah, I watched from the sidelines. You took quite a beating, actually. Humiliated. Calm down, eh, buddy? It's not that bad. Lucas, you need to understand better what you're going to do and what skills you're going to use, right? What do you mean, Samuka? Get up here and talk to me straight. Man, we need to see for ourselves which V4 race is better at defeating that weird intelligence before you and I get hacked. Like everyone else who's gone missing. V4! The human V4, Samuka. It gives me strength. With incredible combos, I can increase my strength and destroy those cyborgs like it's nothing. With my dark gold V3 slicer... Lucas, cyborgs don't have feelings. They can easily manipulate you as a human. You're right, Samuka. V4! Samuka, with the mink, I can use the speed of a hare. Run so fast that I can cross all the islands in the blink of an eye, understand? Did you see it? You didn't. Can you? You can't, can you? I'm running very fast. And I can also create hurricanes of such speed to damage those robots. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, is that a good strategy? Why run at the speed of light, Lucas, if they don't even leave the lab? Damn! V4. Now I'm a celestial being. With the power of the angels, Samuka, I'll be able to attack them from the sky and heal myself easily. Got it, buddy? I'm talking calm because angels are calm. Just don't forget that they stay in an enclosed space. You wouldn't have anywhere to fly to. Damn it. I've got it. V4. Okay then, now I have a shark defense. An extra life you can see from my life down here. Shark shield. And I can still swim without losing life, Samuka. Are these advantages good for defeating cyborgs? They're inside a laboratory, aren't they, Lucas? Not underwater. Damn! V4 again! Too much power. It's power that never ends. I'm being enlightened by this power. With this power, I could defeat all the cyborgs. There are only two problems, Lucas. The first is that it's better at night and it's only just dawned. And the second? What about the second one, Samuka? Is there a problem? If you go on too long with this breed, the horns will take you over, my friend. And you might go over to the side of artificial intelligence. Oh my goodness, God forbid that should happen. Slap me in the face, buddy. Take two, three, four. Thanks for letting me know I have to take this horn off now. Cut it off, please. Imagine if you didn't have a friend like me. Thanks, buddy. But you know what, man? I need a cup of coffee. I'm running out of ideas. Just one cup of coffee will restore all my power and my crazy ideas. Samuka, I give up, man. I've got nothing to do against those artificial intelligences. We'll lose the account and get hacked. That's it. It's over, Lucas. Yeah, of course it's over, Samuka. We were the only ones with enough power to save the pirate world. And now there's no one left? No, Lucas. I'm saying it's really gone, buddy. Look behind you. Oh, you mean this one? He's alone, Samuka. No chance, it's two against one, buddy. We'll finish him off. Hi guys, what are you doing? No, 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 this robot talk won't fool me. Turn on that sharp blade. Wait, Samuka, wait. Don't use the blade on him yet. He's the newest member of On Cactus, don't you see? His name is Kiko, and he doesn't look like a robot. He may have these robotic wings, but I'd forgotten I recruited him yesterday. Speak up, kid. 
I'm a cyborg. I'm not a robot. Understand? And you're not working for that artificial intelligence, are you? No, no, no. I ended up being expelled for not being a robot. So how did they let you out? Explain it to me now. I'm a cyborg and they don't beat cyborgs. There you go, Samuka. There's what? The way they're going to defeat them. Me becoming a cyborg too. Holy moly, for someone with a small brain, you've got a big one. But how are we going to do that, man? Yeah, only a cyborg can teach us how to be a cyborg. Me? Exactly, Kiko. I want a step-by-step -step guide on how to get those fancy wings and become a cyborg like you. Follow me, Lucas. Come on, Samuka. Kiko explained what I needed to do to get cyborg. Basically, I collected Blackbeard's staff by killing Sea Beast. That's right. And I'm going to put Blackbeard's staff in that machine. That's right. Feast of Darkness was sued. Now that I processed the Feast of Darkness, the machine is already different, bro. Because when I enter the raid, Boss Lau can drop the item that will turn me into a cyborg. But to do that, I need to get a microchip that's here, in this stone cave. Better said, here, in this secret entrance, you're going to talk to this black and white guy, and you're going to buy a chip from him for a thousand fragments. Perfect, that green chip. Everyone, take your seats. And now I'm going to insert the chip into the machine just by clicking the green button. After winning numerous battles, and by numerous I really do mean countless, my dear friend. My friends, and finally, after all the effort, we managed to obtain the brain core. This is a chip that you put in your head to turn it into a robot. And now where do I deliver this chip? Captain, I'll take you there. And now, Kiko, where do I insert the cerebral nucleus? Captain, now you put it right here. The same place I put the chips, that makes sense. A secret door has opened, please go downstairs. Okay, I'm going down these stairs like a stylish guy would. And now, Kiko, what do I do here, my friend? And now, you're going to get inside this cover. You're going to click here, then you're going to buy it for 2500 fragments. That's when I spend my fragments. Would you like to change your race to Cyborg for 2500 shards? This race specializes in defense and energy. But of course, that's why I'm here. Yeah, apparently I'm a cyborg, but a V1 cyborg. Captain, you need to evolve your cyborg race. So let's do it now. Now that I've got the three flowers from V2, I'll give them to the alchemist. I hope I'll be even more powerful with my V2. And of course, I have to pay 500,000 because nothing is free in Blocks Fruits. Perfect. We're with V2, guys. Let's go to V3. The easiest part of evolving in the cyborg race is V3, isn't it, newbie? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's very easy, Captain. Just give the NPC a piece of fruit. Now I'm gonna give this NPC some fruit. That's right. I'm gonna give him a very common fruit. I gave him another 2 million. 2 million, man. And finally, we got the cyborg V3. You're giving me shock, Captain. Stop Can it. Can you feel the power, Samuka? Do you feel it? I'm feeling the pain, man. And finally... Just one step away from reaching supreme power. Okay, I'm ready to become the V4 cyborg race. Sailors V3 in... 3, 2, 1. Now! And the trial will begin. According to the new guy in my crew, it's a simple trial. I just need to dodge those missiles that are going to fall on me. Yeah, it doesn't seem that difficult. Even more so for Lucas, who has very good movement and the skill of the gods. I can already feel the power, okay? There are robotic missiles falling on my head trying to catch me. And to become Ghoul V4, I just need to dodge those missiles for a minute. There are only a few seconds left. It's getting harder and harder. Dear God, help me. Yeah, I made it. I can finally feel it. You just have to follow the light. Come on, light. Show me the path of power. Whenever we go up that staircase, it's a good thing. Just put the old gear on that clock. See? Yeah, just put it on. That's it. Do you like my new look? I'm not very pretty. My beauty has waned a bit, hasn't it? But who cares now? I'm a robot and I'm very strong. What now, Samuka? Am I ready? You're more than ready, Lucas. Go on, finish off that evil artificial intelligence machine. Samuka, I'm going into battle. But if I don't come back, delete the Google history from my PC. You got it, Lucas. I'll never forget you. And also feed my cat. It's time to show who's boss. The strongest captain now has all V4 races released, including Cyborg. 
And there, fake artificial intelligence. I'm back to finish you off. You have failed once again, mere mortal. If you haven't noticed, now I have robot wings. I am a robot. So are you ready to join us now? Never! I'm ready to stop you, evil computer program. Useless. What did she say? V4! So that's the power of being a cyborg? I feel the power. Come along, bad robots. Take that! They're very powerful. Whoa, 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 whoa. My life went downhill very quickly. I didn't think it would. Why didn't I have a plan B? Where's Samuka helping Die, me? Die, all of you! Yes, Samuka. Leave it to me, Captain. I'll finish them off. Climb to the highest point you can. Did you hear me? The highest? Yeah, right away, Samuka. I'll use those robot wings. Finish them off, buddy. Come here, you evil robot. Highest point here. Come on! Finish them off, Samuka. What's Samuka doing? He's sacrificing himself for his captain. At tsunami. Samuka, what have you done? I finished them off in the most obvious way, Lucas. With a tsunami! Yeah, of course, you finished them off with water. No electronic device can survive water. I was almost caught at it myself. But wait, Samuka, did you eat a fruit? Because I ate a fruit, I'd let the pirate world be taken over by a piece of crap artificial intelligence. Disgusting, Samuka, you threw it up. It's disgusting to keep that thing in my stomach. But what now that the robots have been defeated? Did she, did she run away? Hey, artificial intelligence? Yeah, Lucas, at least she got away. But take a look at this. She left something behind, man. Geez, Samuka, since when do you know how to hack? Oh, I've got a few magic tricks. A few minutes later, the accounts were recovered and the players could return to the game. Samuka, I don't even know what to say, man. You're incredible. It was nothing, Lucas. You just did what needed to be done. But one thing is strange. There was someone behind it controlling the artificial intelligence. Really? Who would be smart enough and hacker enough to do that? The only thing I care about now is resting and having a cup of coffee. You're right, buddy. Shall we get on with it? Let's go. Yeah, buddy, we have to go to the cafe to relax. I can't wait to have a coffee like that. Oh, I'm in the mood for cappuccino today, man. Then let's go, man. Cappuccino? So you're not going to put milk in it, are you? Is there any cheese bread left? 